We are sitting down to some, what do we got here, Zoe? We got some ribs. What's ribs, this? Salmon. And steak. Steak, that's right. I'll take that, sir. So this is our family style carnivore meal. These ribs look really good. These are actually grass fed uh, beef ribs. I'm just going to put them on your plate and you can use it, okay? Zoe, you want some? That. Mmm, that looks good. Look at this fat. You like the fat, right? Yeah. Mmm, that's good. Wow. Mmm. So one of the easiest ways to get the kids to like eating meat with you is to get excited about it, talk about it, you know, rather than like ice cream and candy and stuff like that. Um, they they want to follow it to what, what you do, you know, and uh, if they see you getting excited about meat and thinking that's good, it's going to make it big and strong, then that's what they want to eat. This is food, food for humans, right, Zoe? Yeah. This is what we're supposed to be eating. Mmm. Mmm. What do you think, Zoe? Um, I don't know. That's good. That's good? Yep. That's good. Man, Zin scarfs it down. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Um. Want more? A few pieces of salmon. Yeah. Mmm. You know what part Daddy likes about the salmon? I like the, the skin. Boom. That one might be too big. Hold on. Forget he's small. There you go. You got it. Mmm. That's good. I think it's super important that kids eat meat while they're growing. Is it good? I think this is a New York strip. Can I have some steak? You want some steak? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Music to my ears. Hmm. Mmm. Is it good? You gotta chew it, so you're not this, chewing it. This is so good. Is it? Yep. That's good. It's way better than cereal or candy. <laughs> Zoe has a a soft spot for ice cream, but <clears throat> there is a special kind of ice cream that Dr. Kiltz makes that might be okay every now and then, so we've been making that and giving that to her. I mean, these ribs are good. More? Couldn't chew it. It's hard to chew. How about some salmon? Yeah. Yeah. That's hear, a big piece. You hear him say, yeah. Yeah, no, he can cut it up. There you go, sir. Daddy will just eat the skin of the salmon. That's my favorite. I like the skin, too. You do? Yep. You like eating carnivore food? Yeah. Yeah. It's good for you, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I like eating. One day I'm gonna be a bigger kid and then I'll eat dairy like Leah. And then you'll eat dairy? Yeah, like Leah. When I'm a big kid. Oh. 
Dairy makes you fat. Yep. Yeah. And that's his whole job. Dairy's whole purpose in nature is to make animals grow. What? Mm-hmm. Makes you grow big. Is leaf dairy? No. A leaf? Yeah. We don't eat leaves. That's vegetables. Yeah. Vegetables aren't good for you. Mm. Vegetables are good for other animals to eat. Oh. Cows eat vegetables. Spit it out. Mm. Mm. What's that? Oh. Mm. more. He wants the knife. You can't have the knife. You have the salmon. Mmm. Here. Zen just woke up and made that be too hungry. What's Need that? more? This is this is on the part of the salmon. Mmm. Better eat it. You like the part. Which part? Um that part. Oh, that's a bone. Oh. That's a bone we mm -hmm. don't eat. You alright there, sir? We gotta teach Jen Zen to not shove all the food in his mouth. He likes to eat the, everything. But anyway, I think it's super important to start at this age, teaching them how to eat the right foods because that's where they get the bad habits. <clears throat> See a lot of parents, their kids are, you know, turning 18, 19, and they're just they're overweight, they're pre-diabetic. But hey, when I'm talking, you don't talk. Do you understand me? Do you understand that? Okay. They come out, you know, they come out of high school and stuff, you know, overweight, diabetic. That's that's terrible. It's bad parenting. Uh, what you need, buddy? Uh, Zoe, when daddy's talking, what do you want? There's no more salmon, buddy. We want this one? More piece of fat? Okay. Let's see if we'll eat just this piece of fat. Ah. Uh, Mmm, fat. Hey, why don't you eat your salmon? Do you like the salmon? You like the salmon? He ate it. Daddy's yeah. liking these ribs. Yeah. I do pour butter on everything. That makes everything better. But yeah, so some of the best ways to get your kids to eat, like I said, it's getting excited about it. Making a big deal, you know, telling him it's gonna make him big and strong, and it does. Is it this kid over here? These three, four eggs every morning. <laughs> you better eat that salmon skin, or I'll steal it. No, don't do that. If then I'm um, part my hair, um, um, I call that the not. Yeah. Mm. So we had a ribeye. I'm sorry, New York strip. Some beef ribs. Some salmon. Did you give me this? Mm hmm. Which one do you like better, though? Um, I like um the ribs. The ribs? That's good. Is this the ribs? Mm hmm. Is this the ribs? I think so. Did you give me this from the No. Dada. Dada. Sure. No. Dada. Dada. One thing that works too is not buying all the crap. Whoa. The only thing they have to choose for from in our house is Whoa. meat or that. a few fruits. Which one? This one? Um, is that the steak? This is steak, this is ribs. Oh, I want ribs. That's my favorite. <clears throat> like, I, I imagine like Whoa. all the kids all over the world that aren't getting any red meat and their brains are developing and it's sad. Even, even families that aren't, you know, vegetarian, is that they don't eat a lot of, hey, who's talking? When I'm talking, you don't interrupt me. You understand me? I don't want to have to ask you again. Okay? 
Just because we're on video doesn't mean you can not have manners. Okay? Alright. Then you still hungry? You left a little bit of salmon there. No. A bit of salmon in Um. Yeah, I mean, all the. You know, if you, if you have a kid that's growing up and, you know, barely ever gets any red meat or refuses to eat red meat, um, one, kids are really good at manipulating their parents, they, even at this age. Um, doesn't work with me, but, you know, if they say, oh, I'm, you know, I'm just not going to eat, let them starve. They, you think that they're going to starve. They don't have the willpower to starve. Their parents are just dumb enough to believe that. <laughs> I don't. Uh, you gotta be smarter than your kid. Dad? Yes, ma'am. Um, um, did you dream when everyone not eating steak? Did I dream everyone not eating steak? Nope, that sounds like a nightmare. Whoa. You want, you want some? He's just playing with me. <laughs> So yeah, so just don't buy the crap. Don't listen to their, you know, their pitches of, oh, I'm just not going to eat or I won't eat anything. You know, chicken nuggets to me is child abuse, 100%. There's no way fans are butts. Child, that's child abuse. One, you got glyphosate in the breading. The chicken is full of linoleic acid, which is toxic for humans. Um, it's in highly inflammatory. And then you also have the oil they use to cook it in, which is just as bad and inflammatory and toxic. There's no nutrition in chicken. Uh, I mean, there's a little bit, but not when it's, you know, processed and, and produced like, like chicken nuggets are. Um, you're better off getting a patty from McDonald's and just feeding them the patty. Red meat has a ton more nutrients, more bioavailable nutrients. You want more, buddy? Ah, good job. Excuse me, Dad. Yes, ma'am. Um... Why? Um, when I um eat some meat, um, I um go chew it and then swallow it and then I drink water like the way. That's right. Meat, salt, and water. It's good. That's a good combination. Oh. That's how you stay. That's how you stay healthy. That's how you don't get sick. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's crazy. That Eighty-seven percent. Of this country, no. it's metabolically unwell. Well. That's uh, kids. As well. uh, you want more? Yeah. You want? Oh, you want water? You want water? There's a little bit in there. You can't trust him with water. He spills it everywhere if you give it to him by himself. Are you not eating that steak? What about all that steak? Uh, no. No. We have bones. You have bones in the steak? No. Mm. Anything else? Um, uh, something's wrong with my tooth. It hurts really bad. Maybe it's coming out. You think it might be getting a new teeth? Yeah. The tooth fairy might visit you then, right? Oh. Mm -hmm. Or water? Okay. This is okay. There's a meat in my tooth. Oh, is meat stuck in your tooth? That happens. It'll come out. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, I already got it out. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm. Mm. Is this a bone? No. Is it? So, we make, uh, every morning I, I make Sabrina a uh, steak to take to work. Cook it for on the auto grill takes like about three minutes. Um, so she's eating, she's basically fasting until like noon and then eating a steak and then comes home and you know has like some other something Water. else. Water! Mom's gonna bring me a gumball home so I can eat it and chew it. I don't know where that came from. Never heard of that. It's from Mom's work. There's a gumball machine at Mom's work? Um, no. There's only gumballs on the thing where, where my best friend gets oh, better it. Better hide it from Daddy. Daddy will throw away gumballs. Why? 
They know not to buy candy and crap around me, so they sometimes sneak it. Well, I, I can... I can you can. I, I can blow... Uh, yeah. I can blow and pop it. You can blow and pop it? Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> Eat some more steak. Yeah. Yeah, anything else you want to say on the video? Um, yeah. Like what? Like... Go look at um, them. Mm -hmm. You being shy now? Um, yeah. And tell them about um popsicles. We don't have any popsicles. I am tell them. No. Well, we're not buying any popsicles ever again. <laughs> Mom gave me a popsicle yesterday when I was going outside. Oh, nope, we haven't had any popsicles in in a long time. Remember that was a prize yesterday? Nope, I don't remember that. <laughs> That was when you were a little baby. I remember that video you're talking about, but that's a nice try. Uh, See, Zoe's attached to the sugar uh, still. She sees a popsicle uh, and things like that, but she kind of grew up having a little bit of that diet, so. Uh, that's a dumb Zen thing. doesn't like anything really sweet. He loves salty food. That was a dumb thing. Mm. Uh -huh. Zoe will learn. She's a slow learner like Dad. Dad was a slow learner, too. So anyway, yeah, just get your kids, sit them down, you know, eat with them, feed it to them. You know, if you hand them a plate of food that they're not familiar with and you just push it in front of them and then you walk away, they may or may not eat it. You're, you know, they have no, you have to kind of guide them. You know, you're, you're the leader. You have to show them what it is that they need. <clears throat> I feel like a lot of parents these days don't really discipline their kids or make their kids do what they're supposed to do. I'm done, Dad. Okay. Let's take your plate over to the sink. Okay. Thank you. Okay. My kids will definitely have discipline. Ow. <clears throat> you want more? Ow. Ow. I think that means more. Dad is sitting here eating it all. No more? Oh. Ow. That's what saying. Good job, buddy. Anyway, so that that's kind of how we do it every every day for lunch. Um, you know, if you have any questions about other things that I do to kind of you know motivate them to eat more meat, um, you know, there's a lot of things out there that are um, you know designed to trick your kids into thinking you know sugar and cereal and crap is good for them, and you know that's that's going to send them down the wrong road. So yeah, you as a parent have responsibilities for to teach and guide them and, and what's good and you can't let their taste buds be the, the guide because they're the food's designed to make them like it right so your, your kids are supposed to like skittles right cat William said that <laughs> <He's okay. laughs> um you know because it's designed to trick to trick the brain into thinking it's you know super awesome food but you know you gotta discipline you gotta start them start them young if not they're gonna have metabolic disorder. They're gonna they're gonna feed into that same system that a lot of people are suffering in. So uh, we will talk to you guys another time. Let me uh, do the video here. <sighs>